Monster Storm Dorian hovered over the Bahamas as surging seawaters and ferocious winds sowed chaos in low-lying island communities, killing at least five people and spurring mass evacuations on the U.S. East Coast. Bahamas Prime Minister Hubert Minnis on Monday termed the hurricane a historic tragedy for the archipelago. Thus far, the Royal Bahamas Police Force has confirmed that there are five deaths in Abaco, Minnis told a news conference, referring to the islands where Dorian made landfall as a Category 5 storm on Sunday. It weakened to a still dangerous Category 3 storm on Tuesday, according to the National Hurricane Center, NHC. As Dorian ground to a standstill, pounding Grand Bahama further to the west of the island chain, the Bahamas Tourism and Aviation Ministry announced the start of rescue operations in parts where it is safe. Mr. Minnis said the deaths had been confirmed in the northeastern Abaco Islands, which bore the brunt of the storm. There was also a storm-related death in Puerto Rico. At least 21 people were hurt in the Bahamas and flown to safety by helicopters, Mr. Minnis said. The International Red Cross said that about 13,000 houses were feared to be damaged or destroyed. Officials said they received a tremendous number of calls from people in flooded homes. A radio station received more than 2,000 distress messages, including reports of a five-month-old baby stranded on a roof and a grandmother with six grandchildren who cut a hole in a roof to escape rising floodwaters. Trisha Cheshire a resident of Amelia Island sunbathes for the last few minutes before storms hit the coast before Hurricane Dorian in Jacksonville. Reuters Dorian as it approaches the Bahamas at 1340 UTC on September 1, 2019. AFP sandbags sit outside of local businesses in Melbourne, Florida. Zach Whitman Bloomberg Riverside Mobile Home Park residents Joe Lewis and Rob Chambers work to secure Joe's air conditioner. AFP a beachgoer walks through rising surf next to the Main Street Pier at Tuscan Daytona Beach. EPA a worker removes a sign from the front of a restaurant in Indy Atlantic, Florida. AFP a graffiti that reads open freeway seen in a plywood shutter. AFP a man looks at the ocean in pouring rain. AFP2 Elderly Residents in Lantana Beach, AFP A Man Takes a Photo in Lantana Beach AFP Beachgoers are seen on the shore while there are mandatory evacuation orders for parts of Palm Beach County in Lantana Beach AFP Hurricane Dorian The system is expected to spin 64 to 80 kilometers off Florida, with hurricane force wind speeds extending about 56 kilometers to the west. As the storm raged through the Caribbean on Monday, Floridians were leaving their houses to go to shelters. Even if the Eye of Dorian does not make landfall in Florida, forecasters warned it could still be dangerous. The National Weather Service warned of hurricane strength winds, meters of storm surges and the risk of dangerous flash floods along much of the Florida coastline in coming days. Residents hang onto the railing as a wave generated by Hurricane Dorian crashes into the jetty at Lighthouse Point Park in Ponce Inlet, Florida, Monday, September 2, 2019. Joe Burbank slash Orlando Sentinel via AP Many longtime residents of the U.S. state of Florida will have memories of Hurricane Andrew, which slammed into eastern Florida in 1992 as a Category 5 storm, obliterating the town of Homestead. Dorian ties with Gilbert in 1988, Wilma in 2005 and the 1935 Labor Day hurricane is the second strongest Atlantic hurricane on record, based on maximum sustained winds. Updated. September 3, 2019, 2.47 p.m. Let's block ads. Why?